Hey guys, welcome to the Game Feed. My name's Panso6, and today we're talking about Destiny. And as you guys know, the new expansion of the Taken King came out with pretty good reception, and it also fixes a whole lot of things that wasn't present in the core package that came out a year ago. Now, in my experience, I've been playing the game since Alpha, played it started out on the PS4, then played the beta on Xbox One, and I continued about the original game on the Xbox One. And I didn't buy the expansions until I think it was back in June whenever they had to unsell one of the Xbox Spotlights because I kind of didn't care for the game for the longest time. I, I played the game, I reached level 20, I did a little bit of the Crucible stuff, and nothing. It, it just didn't feel like a complete package to me. It felt like I've always been playing the beta. And in June, whenever I bought the expansions, it helped out a little bit. I got back into the game, did the Crota and the House of Wolves, and uh, it helped out a little bit. I got a little bit into it, and with the release of Patch 2.0, that I raised the level cap to 34 and also changed the, game, the whole game entirely, um, it fixed a lot of things that a lot of people had gripes with. And... It's more prevalent now with the release of the Taken King. The game feels like a full package, which this sh should have been like this when it originally released. I kind of feel as if whenever I bought the game, you know, the Taken King and all its content should have been there from the beginning, but I guess this wasn't in their plans. Um, but now the game actually feels like a full-fledged package, and I really, really enjoy it. I've been... I, I can't get enough of it and to... To give you an example, I've got Mad Max and Metal Gear Solid 5. I have put little time into these games because the draw that Destiny keeps on bringing to me. I keep on going back, uh, finishing up the story of the Taken King, which is actually not terrible. Um, it actually has more narrative than the whole base game, um, <laughs> which says something. Um, the uh, strikes are good. Um, the leveling up, it's all addictive, and it, it just overall feels great. And um, I, I'm actually happy that Bungie got their shit together and f listened to people that's been complaining about these things. Um, now, I already uh, maxed my character's level at level cap 40, but there's still plenty to do to raise your light level. I uh, got my first exotic from Xur over the weekend whenever he came over, which is actually pretty nice. And um, I'm still looking for more stuff with, uh, I guess they have a new thing where you can infuse um, previous items uh, for exotics, which is really cool. So, so if you had something you liked from year one exotics and you had the year two version of it or something like that, and you like one better, you can infuse it. Um, that way you can continue having your old gun, which is a really nice addition. They also changed things like uh, Dinklebot. Dinklebot is no more called the Dinklebot. He is now Nolanbot, which is not really his name, but they took Peter Dinklage out uh, from his, with his dry and uninspired uh, voice acting, and they replaced it with somebody who actually sounds like he gives a damn, and that's Nolan North, and a lot of people are familiar with his voice. He uh, voiced uh, Nathan Drake from Uncharted and a whole lot of other things. So that's actually a welcome addition. Um, but there's some things I don't like. Um, still, there's no matchmaking, I don't think, for the bigger strikes like Volta Glass, which it's hard enough to find You know, a couple people to join a party, let alone six people to uh, you know, take on this, these big raids and... I don't think you can do them by yourself. Uh, I've tried, and I've not been able to do it, but I've seen some YouTubers hop on, and they can get so far with it. Uh, but I don't think it's possible to beat them on your own, which I kind of wish maybe in a future update they'll address that. That way people can actually join and play uh, these strikes either with you know six random people and you just cooperate. But I'm hoping that does change in the future. And I also don't like the fact that, you know, people who's not made the upgrade and um, to the Taken King are going to be locked out of some of the older content. Like some of the playlists from the Crucible, they're only, only going to be able to use some of them. And uh, there's some other things I've, that I'm sure, like some of the leveling system, you can't go past 34, uh, which kind of sucks. It's almost like um, buying a refrigerator 
And the next year they say, oh, you have to give me $50 or you will no longer be able to use your ice maker. Uh, I'm not saying give the Dreadnought and the Taken King content. I'm just saying, you know, if you're playing the MMO, I think a lot of MMOs, they let you go past, you know, a certain level barrier, but I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with MMOs because I tried World of Warcraft. I didn't care for it. I tried Guild Wars uh, and Final Fantasy XI. has never really done much for me, but um, that might be something MMO players have been dealing with for years, but, you know, like I said, I'm not too familiar with the MMO structure. But overall, if you're looking to buy Destiny, if it's your first time to ever play the game, I highly recommend you buy the game um, as the... I think it's the Legendary Edition. Now, don't quote me on it. I think it's $60 and comes with the base game and all the expansions, including the Taken King. I wouldn't go any further than that. Don't buy the Collector's Editions because I think it's a waste of money uh, just for emotes. Um, but it's actually really good. Um, if you are thinking about upgrading to the Taken King, I think $40 for the Taken King itself on that, you know, just the DLC is nice. Um, buying it physically, I don't, I don't think you get the options just for the Taken King, but if you're wanting to buy the DLC, I'll just go digital with it. Um, but as at this point, I would say Destiny is a must play if um, you're either a new player or you're an old player but lost interest and you want to get back into it. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Um, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay accompanied by this. That way you don't have to see my ugly mug. But thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like it, be sure to hit like and subscribe. It will definitely help me out, help, them, help the channel grow. And I'll definitely love it for it. And there's also a uh, pass. There's a Loot Crate unboxing as well as a new episode of the Goblin Traders. This is a short and sweet version, but uh, hopefully by the end of the week there will be some Zendikar stuff. So... Like I said, I love you guys. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.